Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So, in this lesson, we're going to carry on with the Fight GUI. And we should be able to actually get around to testing in this lesson. So, let's dive right in. Now, I'm going to come here in the onGUI function. Actually, it should be there. And I'm just going to put a comment at the top. Draw player health. GUI dot begin group. We'll open and close brackets. We'll close the line off inside the brackets. New rect. We'll open and close again. Zero comma. Zero comma. Screen dot width comma screen dot height we'll just put begin group in the comment and next we're going to have gui dot draw texture open and close brackets close the line off inside the brackets of type new rect and we'll open and close brackets again. So we're going to use the fight GUI offset, comma, and fight GUI offset. We'll say divided by two, comma, and we want health bar size dot x, comma. And the same again, health bar size dot y. And then we'll come between the closed brackets. We're going to say comma underscore health bar. And we want to draw the min or minimum texture first. And let's break this up for commenting. So let's put on the first line, we'll say draw texture. And we're going to say at this position on the next line, remember it's this position based on these variables. So we've got zero, zero starting in the corner by the screen width, by the screen height. We'll say by these dimensions and for the next line and draw this texture. So let's just copy all of that line and we'll paste it in below. So let's change out what we need to change. So health bar min texture becomes max texture. Health bar size dot X will come in there before the comma. So before we're going to say times player health bar length. So just check in, we did get those in place in the previous lesson. So, and that's all we need to change here. So we'll come below, we'll say gui.endgroup. And we'll close the line off into the comments. Sorry, that should have been an open and close bracket there. And we'll put end GUI group in the comment. And we're going to copy everything we've done now in this lesson. 
and we'll go through and change what needs to be changed so the first thing is the comment draw opponent health we'll begin group at the same place so let's have a look at the first one draw the minimum texture so what we want to do is come at the very beginning create space and we'll say screen dot width minus we're going to put the GUI offset in brackets and also in the brackets we're going to say 5 GUI offset plus health bar size dot x so we're drawing at this position we're minusing the offset and the health bar size to bring it back up so it'll come back up by the full health bar size plus the little bit of an offset so it's not cramped up in the corner and we'll enter there And in the comments, we'll say at this position, X axis. And it's going to be at the same position for the Y. So we don't need to change that. But obviously, we've put it on another line. So we'll say in the comments at this position, Y axis. And everything else is going to be the same. Now, we'll actually copy both of those position lines and we'll paste it in here where we're going to draw the max texture and play a health bar length. Obviously needs to be changed to opponent health bar length. Again, we're drawing the max texture and we can save it off there. So, okay, with that in place, we'll come back to project. We'll hit play with splash screen. Bear with me one moment while I grab the controller. I already have it plugged in. Let's start the game. Round one. We'll just select the first fighter. Fight. So, there we go. We didn't see now, obviously you can't see it as of yet because I've not assigned the textures. But I wanted to do that while the game was running so you can see if we drag on the min texture, the min texture shows. Now, little word of note, it is overlapping the counter. But that's only while it's in the window. Once you maximise, obviously, it will stretch out fully and no longer cover the counter. So let's go back to the gui so as you can see the min texture works and they're both at full health so if we drag on the actual full texture so let's have a look we seem to have a problem with the max texture so let's just stop that there we'll come back And let's have a look at the health scripts. So let's have a look. Punch play one health. Have we actually got these assigned in the resources? Yes, we do. 
So let's come back to this now. So current player health, which should be maximum. Player health by length is the return by the maximum. So let's have a look at the opponent health. And again, seems to be okay. So what we'll do is we'll come and we'll make public these variables. So we can see them in the inspector and we'll go back and test those out. See if they're actually grabbing the correct variable. So let's come back to the splash screen. We'll hit play again. We'll run through. Round one. Fight. So let's come to the scene, the main camera. So let's have a look. We have the returned health at 100. So this should, in theory, be working. So. Let's come back and have a look here at the code. Health bar size by player health. Draw opponent health. And they are in the correct position, so so we definitely seem to have a problem with the game. So that is where the problem is coming, the returned maximum health. So let's come back and have a look at this. Current, we need to return the max, so let's just do that. So, in the void update, I'm going to copy and paste in both of those return lines. And they want to come above these lines here, where we define the health bar length. So, return current. Do we call it max or maximum? There we go. Return maximum. And I apologise, I don't know how I've missed doing this, but never mind. Let's paste those in. So, return maximum opponent health. I'll put it down to not feeling quite well these last couple of weeks. So, I'll blame that on missing such an obvious thing. <laughs> 
Uh, that should be with the maximum opponent health. So let's just copy that and paste that into the comments. We'll paste that in, we'll save it off. And now hopefully we should be working, so we'll let it run through again. textures and Round one. the ones I'm using at the moment Fine. are only temporary ones I'm going to do some other ones that look a lot nicer and when I do some better ones I will put them up on the website and leave a link so as we can see these are now working we assign the empty texture and We just see the empty as soon as we assign the full health they now actually cover the empty texture and we are going to do something a little bit more fancy but again this is just get something working for now because I want to move on and do other things which includes the AI which I know you're all looking forward to doing, so I want to get onto that and at least start getting some more of the basics in place. But now that's working, I think we'll leave it here for this video. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.